My sister Anathea and I were born on March 18th, 1990. People always said we were more in tune than most. Never fully grasped that until now. Our friends would always say how we must be linked telepathically, but we'd always shrug it off as chance, coincidence. The doctors said they got her just in time. Even ten minutes difference would have been too late. Well, her lungs are clear. I can't believe she's still with us. It's, it's really a miracle. Well, it's been a year since we first admitted her, and other patients could be used as bed. We can't keep her here forever, can we? That's a good point. But this heightened brain activity that she has is really worth observing. It's an area right next to the tumor. I've never seen anything like this, and this can really help us in future cases. Shepard, this is Dr. Alden. We have some urgent news regarding your sister. As you know, the condition of Anathea's tumor has been at a standstill of late, and she has shown unusually positive growth in brain activity. However, there was a staggering change earlier today, and we'll be taking her into emergency surgery as soon as I can get a crew together. As her primary contact, I'm calling you to let you know that you should visit here tonight before 6 p.m. There's no easy way to say this, but today may be the last chance you have to see her. I'm sorry we couldn't give you more notice. He's going in the surgery. Doesn't look good. Oh man, I'm sorry. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Happening. I was on my way to see Annie, but there, there was a car and. Hey, you couldn't wake me up? I almost missed that call from the doctor. What? Uh, I guess it's okay. I guess I already knew what it said anyway. Okay, I gotta get going. Yeah, can I borrow your car? Yeah, yeah, the keys are on the counter. Thanks.
Quick, grab a stretcher. This man needs immediate attention. Okay. Hurry up. Mr. Shepard, this is Dr. Alden. We have some urgent news regarding your sister. As you know, the condition of Anathea's tumor has been at a standstill of late, and she has shown unusually positive growth. Hey, the hospital called. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll be taking her into emergency surgery as soon as I can get it together. Annie, I made it. Sorry it took so long. I just, I tried. I kept getting, kept getting caught up. We were together every minute after mom and dad died. I always had each other's backs, and I just wish we had more time. One more time. I don't know any other way to explain this. As you fell asleep at my side, I was able to wake up from this coma. I'm writing you this because I don't know exactly how much time I have left. I heard every word you said, Martin. In my better in state, I was able to tap into unimaginable places in my mind. I was able to use these parts of my mind to contain the tumor in an ongoing time loop so that it would stop growing and the doctors would have more time. But it seems that the loop has taken over more than just the tumor. I guess it extended to you, my twin. I know that this is the only way that I can remain alive for the doctors to work on me, but I can't bear to know that it's causing you grief. One of us has to die, Marian, and I can't let it be you. We can't stop fate. 